time, no shortage of weather developments. That is for sure in South Florida. Started out the day very nice from Jensen Beach. A lot of folks uh, headed there to help beat the heat. And, and then as John and I were talking yesterday, we were both out at the beach at the waterway cleanup. Yeah, I really have to get wet this time of year to cool off. So uh, another very, very hot day across South Florida. I want to thank Tom. He's our weather spotter sending in these beautiful pictures from Ocean Inlet Park near Lake Worth and just uh, a beautiful out there today. Thank, thank you, Tom, for those great pictures that you did send in. Now, Vero Beach was hot, 95 degrees. Average is 91, but no record. That was 97 degrees. And in West Palm, 94 today, the record 98 set back in 1942. Now, not to say that certain areas weren't hotter than that. Those are just the official reporting sites. I know my car thermometer said 99 earlier today. And at one point, the temperature map had Port St. Lucie at 100 degrees. So we'll see if we can verify that for you. But it was it was stifling hot today across the region and still 97 degrees right now in Stewart. Feels like temperatures 103 in Stewart, 103 Okeechobee, 104 West Palm Beach, and 112 Boca. So take it easy. We're still under a heat advisory through tonight at 8. In fact, Broward, Miami County, they're under an excessive heat warning where the heat index ranging between uh, 105 to 110. So just keep that in mind for tonight. Now, we aren't under the risk of severe weather, but just to the north of Indian River County, Brevard County, marginal risk and that is where we saw the strongest storms today uh, for our area. We saw them through St. Lucie County and Indian River County. We're looking better. Things are moving offshore, but we still have some activity near Sebastian and then also some light rain between Boynton Beach and Delray Beach. But again, we should be clearing out in the next hour too. Here's your hour by hour forecast. A few scattered showers and storms right now, but by seven o'clock, mostly cloudy skies and then we'll see some gradual clearing overnight with temperatures hovering near 80 degrees on Vipercast for tomorrow. We start the day nice and dry 430. We start to do a little activity Okeechobee County and the Treasure Coast and for the Palm Beaches. It's going to be a late day uh, situation. We're talking more 7, 8 all the way through 9, 930, 10 and then we'll quiet things down for your Monday night. Quick check on the tropics for you. This is Invest 95 L 40% chance of development in the next seven days and it's located about 850 miles to the east of the Windward Island. So uh, folks in the Lesser Antilles keeping a close eye on this. It's moving to the west at 14 with max winds at 30. We have a long time to watch it and still just too early to tell what uh, it's going to become, if anything, and where it's headed. But we're tracking it for you. Tropical Storm Dawn racing off to the Canadian Maritimes where it will continue to dissipate. Drier air for Monday keeps rain chances around 30%. So hot and humid next three days with hazy skies and then better rain chances to the end of the work week.